Hello and welcome back everyone to the powder toy. Today we're going to be building a nuclear reactor using the most dangerous of the materials that we have formulated in my little mod here, which by the way I'm going to start working again. I've, I've committed to getting a few more updates out on this mod. <laughs> so let us build some solid ground and then let us put some sand. We'll do this out in the desert because I'm not saying this is going to become a nuclear bomb test, but if it were to become a nuclear bomb test, the desert's a great place for that, you know? Alright, there we go. There's a nice little lattice. Now if we get our Nihonium and put it into here, and then just hit the play button, I'm just gonna put- Oh, it is playing! Okay, we can see that it's heating up very quickly. Um, it's already at a thousand degrees, and we're starting to get at that runaway as you can see, it went a little bit too extreme. So how are we going to collect the energy from this? Well, the classic way to get energy out of a reactor is by running water around it. And that's how you kind of turn it into electricity anyways. Heat up water, pass the steam through a beautiful beautiful turbine but let's see if we're actually capable of doing that oh nope it still melted down um you know what maybe the the pipe is just too slow and we're going to just have to in general just use pressure to do this Man, this is going to be like a turbojet version of a nuclear reactor. It's a terrible idea, but... I guess someone's got to do it. Just absurd amounts of water. It's not even It's not even blowing through. I don't think this is wide enough. Um, I think this needs more space in order for the water to pass through. And that means I'm going to have to get rid of some of the thermal mass that is keeping it from exploding. Oh, the joys. Okay, that should be enough. Okay, but that makes it just instantly melt down. Um, oh, geez, this is a challenging engineering problem. You see, what we really want to happen is for the water to just, you know, it could just flow over it. <sighs> yeah, there, there's a better design for this. All right. There we go. That is that is going pretty fast. Is it enough to keep this cool? It is actually hovering at about 200 degrees. Um, now, if we clean this up a little bit. Oh, my God. OK, OK, it is it is stable. That is so much water we're using, uh, but we'll make a system to reuse the water. We'll try to make this more because right now this reactor isn't very impressive. There's no controls on it. It's literally just dumping water onto a hot plate. Uh, zero out of ten for the uh, style points. It isn't on fire though, so that's got to count for something. Oh well, we're gonna just try this. We'll see how this goes. You see, I like the powder toy, but that doesn't mean I'm good at the powder toy. We've got... Is it leaking through? Oh, it is, because this is only one pixel. Okay, I have to make this a little bit thicker, that's fine. I like my heat sinks thick. All right, there we go. That should be good. All right, very nice. As you can see, the heat sink is hitting 75, 76 degrees, but that's super reasonable. That is that is nothing that concerns me. Uh, the Nihonium is getting too hot, though. It, the temperature is increasing. The amount we're actually pulling through here is not enough. Most of this is steam, as you can see. It's getting to be steamed too quickly because this isn't actually pulling enough water through the system anymore. But I think I've improved it. Is the temperature going down? It is? Okay. Okay, that was almost bad. We almost hit an unstable 
Okay, it's going to be unstable again in a second because these titanium heat sinks have actually hit 100 degrees, which means they are no longer able to cool down. Uh-oh. Okay, we're going to use thicker heat sinks that are a lot longer. Let's get this miniaturized version of our reactor and see if we can do a bit with it. First off, let's see if I can expand this pipe a little bit. There we go. There we go. Still, still cool. Still cool. Okay. Great. We have the mini version now. It's absolutely adorable. Um, and now the miniaturized version, I believe, will be a lot easier to do our goals with. Um, so now what we're going to do is we are going to turn this into a loop. All the best systems are a loop. This is really close to that, so let's go ahead and insulate the bottom of this reactor so that we don't accidentally pass any heat along to there. How did that fall apart? What? It shouldn't be possible for this to be leaking backwards now. I'm actually confused. How is steam getting back here? Is it through here? Why are there holes here? Did it melt down? Did I miss it? Yeah, it melted down. Okay. <laughs> this is getting this is getting very tedious to handle. And then we'll actually use the environment to absorb the heat. The excess heat, I guess. We want some of the heat. Alright. So the cooling tower is going to be like this size. And then we just have to make it look nice. Looking nice is like the most important part of a nuclear reactor. You need to understand this. All right, so now this gets plopped onto here. Wow, that size is actually perfect. I got it perfect. All right, this plops onto here. Still have the heat sink like this, but now we're gonna have a hole punched into the side of this and we're going to grab pipe and we're going to pipe the ocean in or the, the lake. All right, let's try to finish this reactor. There's a few things I'm gonna change. First off, this is way too much water input for this. This is way oversized. And also we're feeding in way too high. We don't really need it to fill up up to here because we really want it to just evaporate down here. So let's go ahead and make the entrance down here. Let's make it a lot smaller. So we're going to grab this pipe out here. And we will do it like this. Least efficient pipe design in the powder toy. Pretty sure diagonal is literally the worst way we can do it. All right, let's have this open up all the way down here. And now we're pulling water in. Very good. It's a lot lower, which is what we want. This reactor is still staying at about 200 degrees. This here is, uh, might be a problem. It's not exactly heating up to the point we need it to. It's at about 68 degrees. It's not my fault. I just need entertaining content. All right. Let's get a pipe down over here. Alright. There we go. 
Reactor 2 is online. Temperatures are still reasonable, though. Darn it. <laughs> Darn it! Oh, come on. There's two of you now. Oh, this one, this one's Nihonium died. Okay. Oh, uh, let's replace that. Wait, how did two get on this side, too? What? I have no clue how that happened. There's just two now. Huh, on both sides. Interesting, but look! The cooling towers are actually cooling. Oh, wow, look at it go! And the water goes back into the lake. The heat is returned to the environment. And hopefully it's just a stable system, although it seems to be getting unstable. You got, what, 300 degrees here? There isn't much liquid water moving through, which is a little bit concerning. But this looks like it's still moving. At least the water vapor is moving through the system. I mean, I guess, I guess it works. <laughs> um, even if it's not the prettiest, adding a tiny bit more Nihonium hasn't seemed to melt down the system. Um, it's definitely hot in there. It's more than it was designed for, but it's functioning. So can I really complain? Look at that. We got water coming in, it's boiling, falling back down, going into the lake where it gets used again. Very cool! All right, so maybe we did end up with a kind of good design. I think this is can be replicated as well. I mean, all we have to do is copy and just get a way to pipe all the water into all of them. We could have like 80 of them next to each other. Hmm, what happens if I add a third Nihonium? Alright, now there's three. I'm starting to see a little bit of red glowing over here, especially on the water side of things. Um, yeah, the temperature is getting kind of hot. We, uh... Oh! Oh, 500 degrees. That's pretty warm. All right, let's add another one. Four Nihonium. <laughs> yeah, now we're at 600. I'm, I'm surprised it's even still holding together. I'm honestly shocked that it's not absolutely exploded yet. It is glowing a little bit, especially over here. It looks like the brick is about to give out. Um. But you know what? That's fine. I'm I'm happy with that. I'm also going to get copyright struck if I go too far into this. And the fact that I've gotten so far into this playlist means that we're really over our time allotment. So in that case, I think it's it's a good point for us to say we we did a good job. We we did a good job. It works. <laughs> I'll play more around with it in the future, but really what I want to do is work more on the mod and clean it up. Um, I was working on a huge cleanup to make the biology stuff work better, uh, but we'll see. Thank you all for watching. Leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed, and I will see you all next time. Bye.